So, good morning, Alex. Thank you very much for joining us on North Cotswold Community Radio. Um, I've played already um, a couple of tracks uh, from the four that you sent. Um, right. And uh, the last one is the Numberella song, which, of course, is a very handy link into uh, Numberella, isn't it? So, so tell us how... Yes. Tell us how that kind of started. Well, the, the number of the song was, it started, frankly, in Terra, uh, uh, what's it called, in the Canary Islands. Um, Forte Ventura, Fuerte Ventura, it's called, is, is an island, which means strong wind. Um, so we we went there with uh, as a family with my little girl, and um, we were in a, you know, one of these, resorts and they had a, a kids club and um mm. there's a really uh, a song playing which all the kids really loved and um you know i'd been looking around for a number of song because i you know it's part of this idea of creating an educational ecosystem mm. and so i wanted to have a song and um you know i just noticed this song really worked um so i sort of thought about it a little bit and um took that as my inspiration for the number of song and, and that's where it came from right, right. um and yeah, I mean, you know, I, I played around with a few ideas. I, I, I still teach quite often. So, you know, I generally things that I want to appeal to kids, I talk to my students about to see if they like the idea, the concept and, and so on. And, and so, you know, I was able to take, you know, like the first line, uh, what was it? Um, <clears throat> roll the dice and then, you know, the card you need to play, you know, that, that was one of my students is like, that's what the song should have because that's what you do you know it's like eh, i may never have thought of that by myself you know no, so no. It, it, it's a yeah it's a fun song it came from a kids club and it was populated with ideas from students that's yeah. how it came up really and i suppose we and i suppose we ought to at this point uh thank uh robert saunders at juice music because his his um agency his company has been promoting the charity album isn't it or is promoting the charity yeah, well rob uh, as ever does a you know fantastic job for grassroots music i think he's the you know, probably the the leading business in uh, in Britain, maybe even in the world, for for promoting grassroots music. And um, you know, in these times where there's no live music, you can't make money as a musician from streaming unless you're, you know, uh, Taylor Swift. Unless you um, unless you own Spotify. <laughs> ah, well, this is it. You know, unless you own Spotify or or you're, you know, you have a, a big back catalogue. Um, yes. That you can that you can sell the rights to like I I read today I think Neil Young has sold the rights of, his, of a load of his songs for a huge amount uh, in the, in the investment company so so a lot of musicians are doing this obviously I mean if you've got a back catalogue you're fine if you haven't that's another story so tell well, us that's how, it, yeah yeah so tell us how the Numberella thing got started because that's an educational tool isn't it to help children and maybe young young at heart children. Uh, cope with things like basic subjects like mathematics yeah number is a, a maths game um i you know i've been teaching maths for 10 11 years now and um quite a lot of my work is with children who think that they can't do maths and as a result they have a big a big barrier when the subject comes up you know that they don't like it they don't like the teacher you know the, the whole thing is uh, it makes them freeze up and panic and i think a lot of people are familiar with that with maths in particular because it's so binary mm. um you can't waffle your way out of a corner in maths you know um <laughs> true. so, so it, it's quite an intimidating subject and, and i've been working with children suffering from you know a fear of maths uh for many years and um you know in a one-on-one -on -one environment um as a teacher there's there's nowhere to hide either you know you, the most important thing in learning is that both parties are willing participants in the process and um you know in my work i was finding some kids really hard to deal with because they said i don't like math i don't want to do it and you know that leaves me with well either we don't do the class or you change the way you think and with a kid you know you, you can't force them to change the way they think you have to engage them and uh you know number L, the, the germs of it the seeds of it were okay, how do I make this more fun? You know, simple, like, what do I do? And um, number of just began with dice. You know, you, you sort of roll a dice and whatever number you roll, you can select a question. And just sort of that very basic gamified function immediately opened up 
the lesson, you know, because the kid's like, oh, I get a choice. Fantastic. Yes. So, um, so, so I was about to say, so uh, people, before we forget to mention that there is a website, of course, uh, numbrella dot is it dot com or dot co dot numbrella dot club yeah um yeah it's, it's, it's yes yeah, so numbrella dot club is the website yeah um yeah. so yeah you can find out a bit more there yeah and and people can um take on membership uh, was was i reading that correctly or take on a, a like a franchise yeah uh, that there's um yeah that there's there's absolutely that that possibility um so you you got you've got everything from um, buying the box, you know, the, the game itself, uh, which you can use at school or at home. Um, and if you, you know, if you really like what it's doing, then yeah, you can set up a club. We've got a couple of clubs. Um, I mean, unfortunately with COVID it's, it's been booted down the line a bit, but, um, we had a couple of clubs due to start up in, um, in, in Berkshire, um, uh, this, uh, this term actually is due to start this week, but unfortunately they've been postponed. Um, mm. but yeah, um, you know, set up a club get in touch with us we can advise you how to um, how to make it work how to make it work you know equip you with the the uh the, the seal of approval you know sort of number of stamp your official number of club and um and then yeah you can make money with it uh and use it to improve maths for you know kids kids and and the young at heart kids <laughs> uh, well there you go i mean it, the uh there's there's plenty of adults out there who can uh enjoy a game of numberella um i always recall when when going to grammar school i was very familiar with arithmetic and i used to consider myself quite sharp but algebra uh and the related you know topics involved in like geometry trigonometry quadratic equations quadratic linear equations i had not the foggiest idea really <laughs> how to make these work and and when you were presented with a simple you know uh, express this in algebraic terms you know three men can dig a hole in two days how long will it take you know four men uh, using, yes. using x and how couldn't i could not see how to set that out uh, i could i could work out the answer but i couldn't work out the 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 process and that's really part of the mathematical thinking to a degree isn't it you have to kind of go through a process uh to show how you got to the answer i mean that's as you say there's no hiding place is there well, no. I mean, it, it's uh, it spooks most people, you know. Um, that, that's the truth. And um, as soon as you begin to get worried about whether you can find the answer, that shuts down the very process by which you could get the answer. And yes, you know. So the the, the atmosphere of of mathematical thinking is so important. If you're in a convivial atmosphere, having fun, then you're much more likely to be relaxed enough to come up with a solution um yes and yeah that, that's just part of what my, was about. i was explaining to my wife the other day that sometimes it's like it's like if somebody says my car's not working and i would say well let's have a look you know and you lift the bonnet and you yeah that's loose look you know and there you go and you think i'm a mechanic but if it was my car and i needed to get somewhere and i lifted the bonnet i couldn't see it <laughs> uh, uh, and so you, you're right you're right about <clears throat> being distanced to a degree <clears throat> from from the subject in kind of a more relaxed manner, really, isn't that? That's exactly. Half, that's half the battle, yes. So there we are. So folk can look to the Numberella um, website and um, find out all they need to know. Uh, we've got two more tracks to play. And um, do you have any favourite music of your own, apart from these four tracks? Uh, you, you mean just in the wide world of music? In or? the big wide world of music, Alex, yes. Um, well, I'm... Um... I tend to use music to, to, to work to more than I use it to relax to. Um, so I personally, at the moment, listen to a drum and bass group called Technimatic, right. um, which, uh, which I, I really love. It's amazing to work to it. I, I don't drink caffeine, but I find that drum and bass has an equivalent effect. Okay. Yeah. Um, so it, it works. I mean, look, I occasionally drink caffeine, but I, I, essentially I don't use caffeine as a stimulant to help me no. work. No. Um, so I, I, I listen to that um, quite a lot. If I'm listening to, I mean, sometimes it goes the other way and I'll listen to, um, say, the Foo Fighters or um, Guns N' Roses. I still quite enjoy going back to. So I, I sort of, I, you know, they're, they're worlds apart, these different kinds of music. Um, Eclectic. Yeah, I, I find they, they have similar effects, though. Like I can get into a zone and I, and I can use it to accelerate my work process. Um, 
with you know sort of heavy rock or maybe even a little bit of metal i mean you know if i select very carefully i, I can i can get into some metal um <laughs> audio slave you know i, I quite enjoy um so you get the pictures of like heavy I do, rock i do um, I, I do get the picture i the one group i didn't recognize in that listing was guns and roses so <laughs> <laughs> so, so, um, so we should be all right for a choice <laughs> yeah exactly um I mean, I feel like I'm sort of slightly selling myself short. You know, I, I, I'm a big fan of, um, yeah, I'm a big fan of Sting, the Beach Boys, um, yes. you know, it's a very melodic stuff. I thought Taylor Swift's album this year was phenomenal um, folklore. That I thought it was just a staggering piece of work. Um, and I listened to that a lot. So, <laughs> you know, I'm not just a metal drum and bass. I, I'm sort of middle of the road stuff as well. Yes, but, I, um, I understand it. Uh, things that take your ear at the time. That's a, it's either appeal, I, you know, it either appeals to you or it doesn't. That's the thing. Yeah, exactly. I I love a melody, and I, and I'm happy if you know if, if that melody has a like some heavy guitars behind it, or if it's got a drum bass beat behind it. Yeah. I just yeah. you know I like a melody. Yes. So the truth of the matter is, maths and music go together. <laughs> I, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> there we are. It's all about it's all about numbers and timing. I think we should. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, numbers and timing and rhythm, exactly. Which, which is where we came in, which we won't, we won't tell anybody about. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Newby, thank you ever so much for telling us about um, Numberella, uh, the charity album in support of a charity in Bangladesh, isn't it? Yes, in, in Dhaka, Bangladesh. It's Humanity Foundation. Um, wonderful charity doing wonderful work, um, providing kids with a free education who otherwise wouldn't get one at all. You know, so there's no better. There's nothing better than that, is there? I mean, it, it's uh, it's life changing, world changing, exactly. Um, yes. Work. So I'm I'm very very happy to support that with uh, the number of the charity album, and um, that is yeah. been promoted by Juice Music and Rob Saunders, which we just mentioned that again. Uh, exactly. So here we are. Yeah. Alex, thank you ever so much for talking to us on North Cotswold Community Radio. Well, thank you so much for having me, and uh, yeah, look forward to uh, you know speaking again in the future. Absolutely. Thanks a lot. Take care.